Hello and welcome to Park Live Sport, live from Wembley Stadium. Now, something that has become synonymous with the England team is Gareth Southgate and his suits and his waistcoats. We now know and we can tell the public where he actually buys his suits. Some people have been saying they cost, what, thousands of pounds. But we can officially tell you they are actually from M&S. Yes, M&S luxury, but M&S, where I bought my Percy Pig, where everyone buys their shopping up from London to uh, Barnsley. As you can see, the kit's here. Maybe not as nice as that suit, but if you want to look like Gareth Southgate in tw uh, Qatar 2022, you know where to go. Probably more lifted the World Cup for this country on July the 30th, 1966. Back then, there was only 39 steps. And if those uh, steps were here now and the actual royal box, it was between doors 144 and 101. And that is where the old royal box would have been. Now, for some unknown reason, there is 107 steps. So whether your team wins or loses, you have to go the famous steps to collect their trophies and medals and like. was 15 years ago I was working for Time Tees Television, they're based in the North East and we had a few players that were involved in an England under 21 squad who were facing Italy under 21s here at Wembley, uh, Stuart Downing, Stephen Taylor and Lee Catamore were all in the squad so I came down as a North East reporter to try and uh, get some interviews with those guys and obviously cover the occasion of them playing at the first ever game at Wembley. So that must have been the very start of your journalism career 15 years ago. Is that one of your proudest moments still? Um, I've still got the photograph of me at the first ever match at Wembley, so it, it is something that I am quite proud of that I was here. Actually, on the day, it didn't work out very well because Stuart Downing got an injury, Stephen Taylor got an injury, and Lee Catamol only ended up on the bench, uh, and it came on as a late substitute, I think, so I was quite panicking about what I was going to be able to turn around in terms of a package. Uh, but Catamol played, I think, a little bit at the end, and I managed to get an interview with him, so it all worked out. Uh, what was quite interesting was some of the teams and the squads that were involved so uh, the England team uh, in goal starting was Lee Camp but on the bench they had Joe Hart who went on to get 75 full England caps James Milner was on the bench as well and he obviously went on to get 60 odd England caps Ashley Young was on the bench he went on to get a lot of caps for England so there's a lot of uh, really excellent players who went on to become excellent players who were on the bench for England they didn't actually start the game Nigel Pearson was the manager so maybe says a little bit about uh, about his ability to spot young talent. I just think it kind of shows how far the actual England pathways come where we've now got better players. I can't name any. Who's under 21 in England? 